بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹ اینڈ ویلکم یو آل آئی ایم یور ٹیچر آف میتھ میتھکس فار کلاس نائن اینڈ دس از یور بک انڈر خیبر پختون خوا ٹیکس بک پشاور اوور ٹو دا کانٹینٹ دا ویری فرسٹ چیپٹر آف دا کانٹینٹ ایز میٹرسز اور کامنلی نون ایز میٹرسز اینڈ ڈٹرمنٹ which is a starting from page 1 of your text book student uh, we will start from chapter 1 and the name of the chapter is matrices and determinant so we will take start from the definition of matrix what is matrix okay now student the plural of matrix is matrices okay m a t r i c s okay now what is matrix student it is a rectangular array okay of real numbers enclosed in square brackets now the real numbers which are enclosed in square brackets are called entries or element of that matrix we represent matrix by capital letters a b c d up to x y z now student there are few examples like this is an example of matrix it is a rectangular array okay now look here it is all these numbers are enclosed are enclosed in by square matrix okay so it this is the first example of a matrix over to the second one rectangular arrays enclosed enclosed in square bracket these are numbers are called entries or element of this matrix again consider another matrix enclosed in square bracket so all these numbers are called entries or element of that matrix now student over to the next topic that is order of a matrix so student start with the first matrix that what is the order of the matrix student actually in matrix the elements are arranged by rows and column what is row row is horizontal array while column is vertical array so look here how many horizontal arrays are there in matrix a first and second so how many rows are there two how many vertical arrays are there two mean to say how many columns are there two now how you will write the order of a matrix look here there are two rows and two column so first you will write row then column but there is a, a proper pattern that two by two and in between by and rows and column you have dash so you have to write rows before column okay first we will write rows then dash then by then dash and then column that is 2 and we'll pro pronunciate it like row by column or 2 by 2 so order of this matrix is 2 by 2 over to the next matrix how many horizontal rays are there 1 2 how many rows are there 2 how many columns are there 3 so its order is 2 by 3 okay now the next thing what is the order of the third matrix how many rows are there 3 how many columns are there 2 so the order of this matrix is 3 by 2 okay students now The next topic is equality of two matrices. Now consider two matrices, matrix A and B. When they are said to be equal, 
Number one, there are two conditions for equality of two matrices. The first one is that the order of the two matrices must be equal. So let's check the order of the, these two matrices. The order of matrix A is 2 by 2. Similarly, the order of matrix B is 2 by 2. But this condition is not enough. Now over to the second condition. What is the second condition? Student, the second condition is this, that if the order of the two matrices are equal or same, then you must switch to the second condition. That is, the corresponding element or entries of the two matrices must be same. Now, what is corresponding entries? Student, element on the same position in two different matrices are called corresponding entries like one here and one here these two are called corresponding entries so you can observe here that corresponding entries in these two matrices are same so here we had obey the two condition for equality of the two matrix the first one was order of the two matrices are same that is two by two also the corresponding entries of the these two matrices are equal or you can say same so now over to the exercise and to the question related to relevant to these topics so we are starting from question number two exercise 1.1 pages six and the question number two is list the order of the following matrix a student this question is actually a question related to mcqs but here we are describing here it as a subjective okay now look here student how many rows are there in this matrix a there are two rows and three columns so its order is two by three okay now to f get further precision and accuracy student the all, all the remaining part of question number two on page 6 of exercise 1.1 is your homework. Now over student over to next question that is question number 4. Student question 4 is which of the following matrices are equal and four matrices are given to you. The first two matrices are sim in simplified form while matrix C and D are not in simplified form so first you have to simplify them now look here 1 plus 1 2 3 plus 2 5 and 2 plus 1 3 similarly 4 plus 1 5 so now all the four matrices are in simplified form now check which of the two matrices have same order and their corresponding entries are same which are the two condition for the equality of two matrices so by observing all these four matrices we came to the conclusion that matrix a and d are equal why now look here the order of matrix a is equal to order of matrix d that is two by two but student this condition is not enough because matrices because order of all these four matrices are same now switch to the second condition now check the corresponding entries the first corresponding entry of a is 2 similarly it is equal to the first entry of that matrix 2 now 5 is equal to 5 1 is equal to 1 and 3 equal to 3 so matrix a and d are two equal matrices similarly student matrix b and c are equal matrices why because their order is same again this thing is not enough now over to the second condition now student observe the corresponding entries like 2 2 5 5 4 4 okay and 3 3 again 2 2 5 5 4 4 3 3 so matrix b is equal to matrix c 
so student by observing all these four matrices the final conclusion is that matrix a and d while matrix b and c are equal okay students so this is the complete topic related to definition of matrices order of matrices as well as equality of matrices thank you very much student allah bless you all